Welcome to Junkyard Haunts, where we turn trash into haunts. Today we're going to be making a mushroom lamp. Uh, to make the base of this, I am going to be using some cardboard and some old bottles from Gatorade. Although they just go by G Series. I don't even know if Gatorade's the real name anymore, so but that's what that's what I'm using. <laughs> uh, I, f I have a lamp here. Uh, just it's just the wire a switch on the bottom of it and it connects straight into to be able to hold the light bulb uh, The lamp kits. I got it just on Amazon uh, For pretty cheap. I think we got three of them when I made this one for $15 so uh, You can find it anywhere uh, prices go up and down and vary so just look out for some lamp kits or if you already have one uh, but to actually build this base and support, I cut off some the Gatorade bottles, the top, the bottoms of them, and just kind of taped them on to make a nice tall mushroom stem. And to add weight so the thing doesn't fall over, I'm going to just glue a rock straight on, like I do a lot of my props to glue a rock. Now all mu mushrooms have ridges on that stem, so I am going to just make that out of newspaper, just curling them up in a nice long round bat like shape and they're just taping them on and we're gonna go ahead and cover it all in paper mache paper mache is a good idea because it will just make everything look uniform it will make it look like all one piece because you know a mushroom is one piece but it'll also make it more strong rigid and secure I make props every Monday so make sure you subscribe so you can follow along and see what else I make now to make the actual mushroom top of this, I'm going to once again use milk jugs, just like I did last week, but we're going to form it in a bowl shape. Uh, the easiest way to do this is to find a bowl that can handle a lot of heat, so that is what I did. I went ahead and just cut milk jugs up to as long and flat of the piece that I can. Put it right onto that bowl and use a heat gun and to melt it down to form that shape of the bowl. Uh, again, not one milk jug will be able to cover this whole thing. So I just use as much as I can from the one and then overlap, overlap the others so that when I heat it down it will actually melt them together. To make this mushroom top even bigger, even though my bowl is not big enough to do that, I just go ahead and push what I have over, slide it over, and so that I have more bowl shape to be able to melt the milk jug around. And you can literally just do this as much as you need and as often as you need to make this top as big as it should be. I probably should have made mine even bigger, so when you do yours, make sure don't, don't be afraid to go big. You can always cut it down. Now to make the actual top part of the mushroom I'm using some caulking some clear caulking that I am adding some red paint into one bowl and then some white paint into another bowl with a little bit less caulking and I just spread it around my newly formed milk jug bowl I have just use a plastic spoon and just push it around to cover up as much as possible and then to make the little white dots I just scoop a tiny little bit of white out and push it on until the whole thing is completely covered. After it is completely covered and I get all the white dots on, I take some saran wrap and cover the whole thing and wrap it up. This way I can actually use the saran wrap to push it down and to actually smooth it out. If I just let it dry how it was, it actually would have just been very rigid and not looked very good. So I put a lot of saran wrap over, and after I get it all covered, I actually can actually push the caulking around to smooth it out and to spread it out so that it's even all the way across, trying to cover up all the milk jug as evenly as possible. Now I didn't show this part, but I actually went ahead and stuck this in the oven at a very very low temperature I using like 230 degrees Fahrenheit and baked it so that it would harden up if you just leave the plastic on there and just set it out to dry it will basically never dry even if you set it out for a very long time 
So after it came out of the oven, I spent a very, very long and grueling time of slowly picking off all of the saran wrap. This part took forever. So just be aware that this part can take forever. It might have even been better just to leave the plastic on. And when I f wrapped it around there to actually try to make it no wrinkles at the time. To actually connect this to the top, I'm taking some cellulose clay, wrapping it around the edges and poking some holes in it so that these wires will be able to stick out of it. And of course you have to let the cellulose clay dry, but you just stick the wires in there and just measure it up to the actual mushroom top to see how you like it in position. And just bend it, cut it down the wires to length until it gets to the right spot. How you want to measure for the right spot so it's not too close to the light bulb you actually just plug it in turn it on you can make it dark in there and make sure that the light's covering all of it you notice i had it too low so only the little top part was glowing but if you push it further away the whole mushroom head will actually glow and look even if it's far enough away and then i'm just hot gluing those wires on and to make those wires thicker, I'm just taking more cellular clay and wrapping it around it and making it as smooth as possible. I've used cellular clay in the past. I can throw up a link to one of my old projects that I used it quite a bit. I am working with a YouTube channel using his music as my background music. So I'll just go ahead and let you listen to a little bit of that. I got a nice purple and I'm painting the entire stock of the mushroom and then going over it with one coat of white so that that purple can actually still shine through kind of make that white look a little bit dirtier and more natural thanks for watching that video Make sure you hit subscribe so you can see some sweet special effects all the time. Woo! Leave in the comments below what you think of this. Uh, let me know what I should make as well. Also, I'm working with another YouTube channel where I use his music for my background music. So the link is also in the description to go check out his channel. <laughs> ah.